The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you find this video and podcast helpful. If you need some help, please feel free to call us at 630-324-6666. We offer free consultations in many areas of law, and we have several geographic locations for your convenience. We serve all of Illinois, and we're also happy to meet with you and provide most legal services virtually without requiring you to leave your home. Enjoy the video. Hi everyone, this is Matt with Learn About Law. And in this video, I'm going to discuss different ways to get a green card in the US. There are many different ways to get a green card, and there are many ways to travel into the US. Here, we will discuss some of them. Not all paths are right for everyone, so be sure to call us and speak with an immigration attorney if you have questions. Let's get started. Number one, are you engaged or in a serious relationship to a U.S. citizen, and are you going to marry each other? People engaged to, you, uh, to a U.S. citizen may be eligible to enter the U.S. with a K-1 visa. They are able to bring some of their dependents, an example, the future stepchildren of the U.S. citizen under K-2 status. Please note that it is a term of the K-1 visa to marry the U.S. citizen within 90 days of admission. Number two, do you have immediate relatives that can petition for you? An immediate relative can petition USCIS or the Department of State for their relative without any wait time. This does not mean that the process is automatic. It means that the relative will not have to wait for a green card to be available to them for them to be able to come into the country. There is always a green card available for immediate relatives. Read the article below to see if you have immediate relatives that can petition for you. Number three, do you have relatives that can petition you through the visa categories? Preference categories are visa categories where legal permanent residents and U.S. citizens can petition for their extended families. While your favorite cousin may not qualify through you, your parents could petition each other. If your cousin is young enough, he or she may be eligible to come in as a derivative. Immediate relatives cannot bring in derivatives, but people in visa categories may be able to do so. Read the article below to see if you have any relatives that can petition for you through a visa preference category. Number four, do you have money to invest in the USA? An investor can get a green card if they invest more than $1.8 million into the US and create jobs. They can do so for less, but the investor would need to invest in an economically depressed area. Number five, do you have any skills that are in vogue. If you have a job offer from a U.S. employer and there are not that many people in the country with the same qualifications, your U.S. employer could bring you into the country as a permanent resident. This is done through an I-140 petition. Please keep in mind that many times employers prefer to either hire locally or to do this for employers, employees that they have already got an H-1B or other type of visa for. Also, some jobs may not qualify for this. Number six, do you have a humanitarian basis for it? Asylees and refugees can apply for their green card after they have held this status for one year. Refugees are brought over from abroad. They generally come in through UNCHR camps. Meanwhile, asylees are fleeing violence in their home countries and they come to the U.S. for protection. Thanks for watching. Immigration law is a very difficult area of practice that is constantly changing. If you have questions about your path to citizenship, we recommend speaking with an experienced immigration attorney to make sure that your petition for status does not get rejected or denied. To learn more about undocumented immigrants, please be sure to read the article below. And also be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments and subscribe for more legal content daily. Hello again, this is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law. I hope you enjoyed the video and podcast. If you did, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel. If you need legal help in this or any other area of law, please do not hesitate to reach out and schedule a consultation. 
Most consultations are free and all can be conducted remotely if you'd like. Please email us, book online, or call us at 630-324-6666. We have many locations for your convenience and we serve all of Illinois. So thanks again for watching.